Welcome back. We've been talking about President Biden's decision to withdraw from the race for the White House and what that could mean for Vice President Kamala Harris moving forward. We want to offer you another report on specifics, this time from CBS News reporter Nicole Skanga. She joins us now live from Washington, D.C. Nicole, good to see you today. We know you've been following uh, developments from our nation's capital. So tell us, what is the latest as Democrats reformat their plans ahead of the DNC? Erin, so good to be with you. As of now, delegates are lining up to support Vice President Harris's bid for the 2024 election. We've seen endorsements from full slates of state delegates, including states like Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, key battleground states, Florida, North and South Carolina. Now, the Democratic National Convention will still proceed as planned beginning on August 19th in Chicago. But we could see the Democratic Party formally nominate Vice President Harris before then in a virtual roll call as soon as August 1st. The reason for that earlier date is because the Democratic Party has to abide by state ballot access laws. Okay, and Nicole, the vice president has not polled well with Americans. This is regardless of party. So what are you hearing needs to happen to sort of unify Democrats behind her campaign? Yeah, Harris is going to need to prove that she is the candidate most likely to defeat former President Donald Trump. And already the campaign is messaging on her former experience as a prosecutor. Now, the latest CBS News poll, this was conducted before President Biden dropped out of the race, shows Trump as the favored choice in a matchup against Vice President Harris, leading Harris 51 to 48. While Harris has been popular on some issues with voters, like access to abortion, she is far less popular on more uh, pressing issues for some voters, including the economy and on immigration. And let's talk about uh, potential vice presidential picks, because we're hearing uh, Governor Tim Walz from here in Minnesota is, is on that short list. What are you hearing? Yeah, certainly Minnesota Governor Tim Walz has not ruled out joining the ticket. There are some other governors who are in play here. Certainly lots of talk of Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. She's been widely discussed. Uh, she did say soon after President Biden announced his exit that her job in this election will remain the same, but she is a popular governor who won uh, her reelection by double digits back in 2022. Also hearing about Kentucky Governor Andy Bashar enjoys some rare popularity as a Democrat in a ruby red state in Kentucky. Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro as well, another name uh, that's been mentioned. He gained national attention for besting his far right opponent in the state's 2022 governor's race there another key battleground state. So a lot of names uh, in play right now and certainly a lot of governors in this discussion. All right, Nicole, we know it's a busy day in Washington. Nicole Skanga live for us in Washington. Thank you so much for your time.